Good morning. Welcome to Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry on this Sunday. This is the seventh Sunday of Easter, and I'm so glad you're able to join us, um, Tom and I, as we begin our day with the word of the Lord. So let us begin. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Christ the Lord ascends into heaven. O come, let us worship him. Alleluia. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O oh, come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ the Lord ascends into heaven. O oh, come, let us worship him. Alleluia. Our psalm today is Psalm 150. Hallelujah. Praise God in his holy temple. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him for his excellent greatness. Praise him with the blast of the ram's horn. Praise him with lyre and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with resounding cymbals and praise him with loud clanging cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Lord God, unite our voices with the praise of all creation that we may worthily magnify your excellent greatness through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Well, our reading today, our first reading comes from Exodus, the third chapter, beginning with verse 1. Now Moses was keeping the flock of his father-in-law Jethro, the priest of Midian, and he led his flock to the west side of the wilderness. He came to Horeb, the mountain of God. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he looked, and lo, the bush was burning, yet it was not consumed. And Moses said, I will turn aside and see the great sight, why the bush is not burnt. When the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called to him out of the bush, Moses, Moses. And he said, Here am I. Then he said, Do not come near. Put off your shoes from your feet, for the place on which you are standing is holy ground. And he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look at God. Then the Lord said, I have seen the affliction of my people who are in Egypt, and have heard their cry because of their taskmasters. I know their suffering, and I have come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians, and to bring them up out of the land to the good and broad land the land of flowing with milk and honey to the place of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, and the Hevites, and the Jebusites. And now behold, the cry of the people of Israel has come to me, and I have seen the oppression with which the Egyptians oppress them. Come, I will send you to Pharaoh, that you may bring forth my people, the sons of Israel, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the sons of Israel out of Egypt? He said, but I will be with you, and this shall be the sign for you that I have sent you. When you have brought forth the people out of Egypt, you shall serve God upon this mountain. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our second reading comes from Hebrews, the 12th chapter, beginning with verse 18. For you have not come to what may be touched, a blazing fire and darkness and gloom and a tempest and the sound of the trumpet and a voice whose words made the hearers entreat that no further messages uh, be spoken to them, for they could not endure the order that it was given. If even a beast touches the mountain, it shall be stoned. Indeed, so terrifying was the sight that Moses said, I tremble with fear, but you have come to Mount Zion and to the city of the living God, the, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to the innumerable angels in festal gatherings, and to the assembly of the firstborn who are enrolled in heaven, and to a judge who is God of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect, and to Jesus, the mediator and the new covenant, to the sprinkling blood that speaks more generously than the blood of Abel. See that you do not refuse them who is speaking, 
for if they did not escape when they refused him who warned them on earth, much less shall we escape if we reject him who warns from the heaven. His voice then shook the earth, but now he has promised. Yes, uh, yet once more, I will shake not only the earth, but also the heavens. This phrase, yet once more, indicates the removal of what is shaken, as of what has been made in order that what cannot be shaken may remain. Therefore, let us be grateful for receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, for thus let us offer to God acceptable worship with reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our holy gospel comes from St. Luke, the 10th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. The 70 returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in, our, in your name. And he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Behold, I have given you authority to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall hurt you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are, are subject to you, but rejoice that your names were written in heaven. In that same hour, he rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I thank thee, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hidden these things from the wise and understanding and revealed them to babies. Yea, Father, for such was thy generous will, their gracious will, for all things have been delivered to me by my Father, and no one knows who the Son is except the Father, or who the Father is except the Son, and any one to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Then turning to the disciples, he said privately, Blessed are the eyes which see what you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, and did not see it, and to hear what you hear, and did not hear it. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise Thank to you, you, O Christ. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. This is the day the Lord has made. Alleluia. Let us, be, let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. This is the day the Lord has made. Alleluia. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. Let us pray. Father, help us keep in mind that Christ our Savior lives with you in glory and promise to remain with you, with us until the end of time. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our, Our Father, Lord, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be, be thy, thy, name. thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his, in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining Tom and I on this Sunday morning. This is the seventh Sunday after Easter. And I'm so glad that you, Seventh Sunday in Easter, of Easter, and I'm so glad that you're able to join Tom and I. I hope you have a safe and blessed day and hope to see you tomorrow as well. God bless you. Bye-bye.